we humans are cutting 0.13% of trees each and every year from the total amount of trees on the earth. With this speed, humanity needs about 18,000 years more to destroy them completely. 18,000 years sounds a long span, right? But this span appears long from an eye of a human. These trees first emerged 400 million years ago. And considering this span of their lifetime, 18,000 years is nothing for them. 18,000 years is just 0.0045% of their existence on earth. To get more clarity, let's take a human being for example. His average life is 66 years, but let's consider it 80 years for now. And if you calculate 0.0045% of 80 years of any person's lifespan, that is just a single day. It is like you just opened your eyes and you got killed. Hi friends, you're watching Mindscape. You have been listening about deforestation, but you may not know on what scale this is happening. Today I will give you exact idea at what level this deforestation is happening. The word forest, what its role in human's life. For most of us, forests are the place where you go on weekends and picnics to get relaxed. For some, it is place to experience adventure and to explore wildlife. But we have somewhere forgotten that forests are one of the most important natural filters and producers of oxygen. Oxygen which is most essential for humans or any other species to survive. A single tree produces 100 kg of oxygen per year on average and we humans require 740 kg of oxygen per year on average. By this calculation, one person needs 6 to 9 trees to remain alive. Humans of course are not alone in requiring oxygen to sustain life. The decline in total forested area contributes to the extinction of animals and bird species. Since 1998, the number of threatened species of plants and animals have increased by more than 120% from 10,000 to 23,000 species. We know that popularity and use of wood as material in building construction and other manufacturing is increasing day by day and this results into deforestation and the volume of forest coverage is reducing year after year. The World Bank statistics from 1990 to 2015 yielding a loss of 1.3 million square kilometers of the forest area. But how much exactly is that area? A person needs one square meter of space to stand easily. That is one meter by one meter. And as the base of one tree will consume similar space. And if we calculate accordingly, in 25 years we have killed 1.3 trillion trees. That is 1300 billion trees. It is like killing 1300 billion number of people. This amount of people were never born or never ever will be born on this earth. And to kill 1300 billion people, you will have to kill entire human population on earth almost 200 times. 1.3 million kilometer of destruction is like destroying 1700 cities the size of New York City. In 2015, 89 countries reported to total decrease in forested area during the 25 years of period, whereas 80 reported a gain and 37 reported no change. With increase of computer usage, emails and internet, we think we are going paperless, but in last 5 years the paper industry is growing by 3.5%. And altogether, result of this is global warming. We know CO2 emission from cars and industries, coal electricity generations, and we think trees helps to absorb that CO2, which helps reducing global warming. That's true, but you may not know when trees are cut down, the stored carbon dioxide in trees are released into the atmosphere. So deforestation doesn't only reduce protection from CO2, it actually increases CO2 into atmosphere. 
and this CO2 mingle greenhouse gases from the source and contribute to global warming. When we talk about CO2 emission, we should know the top countries which are contributing to this situation the most. The number one CO2 emitting country is China, which emits 30% of total emission. Then comes United States with a 15%. After that comes European Union with 10% emission, followed by India and Russia with emission of 7 and 5% respectively. These top five countries emits almost 70% of total CO2 emission of the world, and the rest of the world emits 30%. And to contradict that, four of the top five CO2 emitting countries are also the top four countries who have expanded their forest coverage in last 25 years. Isn't it a bit strange? Where China is on top with the forest coverage expansion of 500,000 square kilometers. On the second position is United States with 76,000 square kilometers, followed by India, Russia and Vietnam. The difference between top of the list China and the second top United States is really massive, where China expanded by 500,000 square kilometer and United States expanded with just 14% of China's expansion. Even if you combine the rest of the top four countries, that area is just 50% of single China. But how did China do that? That is an entire different topic to study. But for now, let's see the top countries who reduced their forest coverage in last 25 years. Top of the list is Brazil with a loss of 500,000 square kilometer followed by Indonesia, Sudan, Nigeria and Myanmar. One interesting fact is that the amount of area expanded by the country which tops the forest expansion list. Almost the same amount of area is lost by the country which tops the forest's reduction list. But that is just with the top of the list countries. When it comes to the world as a whole, we have already lost 1.3 million square kilometer from what we had 25 years ago. And we have increased CO2 emission by 13.5 million kilotons in last 25 years. Altogether, world as a whole and every individual needs to take deforestation and global warming seriously. Until we find some other planet, we need to protect what we already have. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.